Didn't see you there. I'm Anne Rose Burnside. I was born on May 23rd, 1824 in Liberty, Indiana. I came from a large family and was one of nine children. I took advantage of my father's political connections and I enrolled in the United States Military Academy in 1843. I graduated with high school honors in 1847. After being named commander of Fort Adams in Rhode Island, I married Mary Richmond Bishop in 1852. I created the Burnside Arms Company, which manufactured rifles named after myself. They were so popular, the Secretary of War wanted to use them in the Army. Because of their demand, factories were created to manufacture them. During my break from the Army, I ran for Congress, but unfortunately lost. My plan was to cross the Rappahannock River and capture the southern capital of Richmond, Virginia. Unfortunately, that plan didn't go well, and the Union lost many soldiers. Disappointed by this loss, I wanted to resign, but wasn't allowed to. Following another military failure due to weather, mud march, I resigned and was replaced by Joseph Hooker. Then I was elected as U.S. Senator in 1874. This was my last occupation. Goodbye! The Battle of Fredericksburg was one of many battles that General Ambrose Burnside was involved in, but was also the one that caused him to lose his position in leading the Army of the Potomac. Leading a force of 106,000 men, Burnside was marching to Fredericksburg, a town on the Rappahannock River. This key town was 35 miles away from Richmond, and conquering this town would allow for the Union to continue its goal of capturing the Confederate capital. Burnside had a 27,000 man advantage, but with poor communication and lagging supply shipment, the Union suffered a two-week delay in their attack on the Confederates. With this time, the Confederates were able to organize their positions. If Burnside had gone straight into town without the help of a bridge, victory would have been sure. But now with such a delay, the actual battle turned into enormous difficulty to heavy early December snow. After three hard days of battle, in which over 12,000 Union men died and 4,000 Confederate men died, Burnside was finally convinced to move past the embarrassing loss. After making a treaty with General Lee under the pretense of rescuing fallen men from the fields, Burnside cowardly escaped from the scene. Lee easily won and Burnside successfully enraged Lincoln, enough so to have Joseph Hooker replace him as the leader of the Army of the Potomac. The battle was significant for the Union, despite their loss, for they realized more and more their army needed better commanders and communication to be successful. The citizens of Fredericksburg, aware that a battle was about to occur, evacuated the town quickly, walking many miles through the snow. The Union then raided the town, plundering and looting all the stores and buildings that were left abandoned.